everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do uh, my first tag video. Um, I found this one online and it's the stay at home mum tag and I'm a stay at home mum and I thought when I read through the questions it would be a really good opportunity for you to get to know me a bit more as it tells you a lot about all the things that I get up to in my day to day life. So I'm going to crack on. There's 20 questions and hopefully you'll find out a bit more about me. So question number one, are you a stay at home mum or a working mum? I class myself as a stay at home mum. I have a blog and I've just started this YouTube channel on the side, um, but at the moment it's more of a hobby, so I'm not actually earning through it. And so I'm just, I'd say I'm a stay at home mum. Question number two, why did you choose to stay home? Um, the main reason I chose to stay home was that after I went back to teaching, after my maternity leave, um, the childcare costs were so expensive with twins and I was really, really fortunate that I had family and friends to help out and so I didn't actually need to pay. We didn't actually need to pay for um, nursery places or something like that. Um, but the circumstances changed and so we were either in a position where we were gonna have to pay a lot more and put them into um, extended childcare or I needed to stop work so that I could start looking after them and so that was the in, the kind of push that it took for me to leave my job and become a stay-at-home mum. Uh, question number three is how old are your children? So we've got four and a half year old twin girls and um, they, were, they were four in October. Question four is are you part of any play groups? Um, and I do go to quite a few play groups. It's something I really enjoy. I think it's something really sociable about meeting up with other mums. So we go to a play group at our local community centre on a Monday. And we also go to a different play group on a Friday that we really love because you get free cake. <laughs> um, so we go to two a week most weeks and it's something that's part of our weekly routine. Question number five is, do you have it all together every day? I'd like to say that I'm pretty organised and I do have it together. Um, I think most of the time I, I know what we're doing and I have everything sorted, but it's when the kind of unexpected gets thrown at you or something unusual out of the ordinary gets thrown at me, like the preschool asked for the girls to take in some little rocks so they could paint them as space rocks. And it's just one of those things that's just slipped my mind. So most of the time, yes, but it's the unusual bits that I forget. Number six is, do you have a daily routine or do you go with the flow? Well, I think I have a daily routine. Um, we get up about the same time, the girls' grow clock turns to the sunshine at 20 past seven, and that kind of kickstarts our day. Um, we do breakfast, get dressed, etc., etc. It's just, we've got a morning routine. In fact, I've done a um, blog post about our morning routine, I'll link that below, and I've also done one of our evening routines, so I'll link that below as well. Um, so you can go check that out if you're interested. Um, but yeah, we do, we follow a routine and we know what we're doing most days. Number seven, how long do you plan to stay home? This is a really tricky one. I initially left teaching for one year. We planned that we could afford to do it for a year, that we could dip into our savings if we needed to. Um, it's now been two years and I'm, I'm not planning to go back anytime soon. The girls start school in September and so I think that's going to be the kind of change point where I'm going to want to either start earning in some way or maybe I'll go back to teach you or some sort of supply. Um, but it's still a bit all up in the air. I haven't really, we haven't got a firm plan. Um, that I don't really know. <laughs> Number eight, um, do you keep up with the housework or do you share it with a partner? I'd say I do the majority of the housework being home most of the time, but... I don't do it all by any stretch and, I, and we definitely share it whenever Stu's home. So in the evening, at end of dinner, he always washes up and a weekend we'll often do um, a quick half an hour blast to kind of do the hoovering and some dusting and things. Um, we used to have a cleaner, which was lovely, um, but we no longer do. And so we just kind of do it between us and do the best we can. It's not a massive priority. I don't I'm not a huge clean freak. As long as the house is clean, I'm, you know, I'm happy. Number nine, do you do anything on the side for extra money? I'd love to say that this, my blog, my YouTube is bringing in loads of money, but it's not. At the moment, it's just a hobby. Um, I have been lucky enough to get quite a lot of freebies. They're not really freebies. I work really hard for them, but I've 
although I'm not actually earning money, I definitely feel like I've contributed by getting the girls things that maybe we wouldn't have been able to afford with me being staying at home. Um, and so, no, I don't actually bring in extra cash, but we do, but I do bring in stuff. <clears throat> Number 10, what do you love about being a stay at home mum? I absolutely love being a stay at home mum. And I really love the fact that that I'm there for everything. I'm there for all the little things. And days are hard. And that phrase that the, you know, days are long, the years are short, is so true. I find some days so incredibly long and just I just don't know how I'm gonna fill them. But I absolutely love the fact that I'm there and I have time to do things like crafts with them and baking with them and all the seasonal little things that I just wouldn't have time or wouldn't have the energy to do if I was working a lot. Um, and so I'm really, really grateful that I get this chance to be a stay at home mum, especially before they've started school. Number 11 is what do you hate about being a stay at home mum? And to be honest, I really don't hate anything. I really enjoy it. And um, yes, I have hard days, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, I think sometimes there's a bit of uh, a perception that, that stay at home mums do nothing. They sit at home on their bums and watch TV all day. And I'm sure there are stay at home mums that do that. I'm not one of them. And um, so maybe it's just the perception of stay at home mums rather than the actual role of being a stay at home mum. Number 12, did you know you always wanted to be a stay at home mum? No, I didn't. Um, I was a teacher for 12 years in a primary school and my career was really important to me. Before the girls, it was everything. I was so dedicated to my job and really, really put everything into it. And so if you'd asked me a few years before I had the girls whether or not I would want to be a stay-at-home mum, I would have said no. I would have said I really would have loved a, a balance, um, heart like part-time with my career and being a mum. But then we struggled to conceive and had uh, went through a really, really hard time trying to get pregnant. And so when the girls finally did arrive, my career seemed a lot less important at that time. And now I just, um, I'm really glad that I've been able to take a step away from teaching. It's a, it's a really stressful job and I found it really, really hard to juggle, even just working two days a week when I went back after my, my maternity leave. It's one of those jobs that your heart has to be completely in it. And I really, I just couldn't do that anymore. I needed to be home for my girls and I needed to um, step away. So um, I, I'm glad I, I made the choice to become a stay at home mum. Number 13, what does your partner do for work? Um, Stu works in IT and we're really lucky because he's recently moved position and now works really, really close by. In fact, it's about a three minute driveway. And he's also moved from having to work every other weekend to having every weekend off. So um, that's been brilliant as well, because we did go through a period where it was really hard and we were having to turn down loads of things with family because he wasn't around. Um, but that's what Stu does. Number 14, when do you shower, morning or night? Um, well, one of the luxuries of being stay at home mum is you don't have to shower morning or night. You can shower whenever you like. Um, Especially when the girls, now the girls are older, um, I often shower in the middle of the day. I'll often, might do it after we've had our lunch one day, or um, I might shower just before dinner or something. I, I, um, I just can't do it when I feel like it, really. Number 15, do you put makeup on every day? Absolutely not. No, no makeup. <laughs> um, no, I'm not a big fan of makeup. Never worn really worn makeup. I only really wear it if I'm going out for a special occasion or for a wedding or something. Um, so, no. Number 16, do you style your hair every day? Again, no. Um, I have recently started getting into curling my hair and often I'll curl my hair a couple of times a week, but then it often lasts the next day as well. So a couple of times a week I might curl my hair, but that's about it. Number 17, do you work out and when? No. <laughs> um, I used to go to Zumba once a week and that was just purely because it was really, really convenient. It was at my local community centre and it was something I really enjoyed. But the lady running it finished doing it and I didn't have the inclination to go and find a new, another one. So, um, no, I don't do any workouts, anything. I know that's really bad. I know that I should prioritise my fitness a bit more. I'm just a bit lazy, to be honest. Number 18, what does your cleaning schedule look like? I don't have a cleaning schedule. I clean just when it needs to be done and I just, yeah. 
I don't have one. <laughs> Number 19, do you ever have any alone time with your significant other? Um, we have made it a priority to have one night a week where we both switch off our devices and we sit down and have an evening together. So Wednesday night is now officially date night for us and it's something we're really, really working hard on trying to reconnect one night a week because um, we're absolutely terrible for me sitting on my iPad or on my laptop and him on his game and not having any kind of conversation of an evening. So um, Wednesdays is date night. We, we've um, started doing like a board game or doing something together um, just to have one night a week where we're focusing on it. And we're also quite lucky that we have got family that will take the girls every now and then. And so we might have a night away a couple of times a year. And so that's really nice too. Number 20, do you ever have a me time? Well, this, this is my me time. I'm my blogging and now my vlogging, that's my me time. I really love it. It's something that I've found a bit of a passion for in the last year or so. Um, and I love everything that goes with it. And so in the evenings, I will sit and work on my blog and um, I really enjoy that. I also probably every couple of months will go and have my hair done and my mum will take the girls and I'll then go and go for a little mooch around the shops and go to Costa and have a, a latte and a muffin or something. And I really enjoy that as a special bit of me time every few months as well. But that's about it. I really hope you've enjoyed this and you've got to know me a little bit better. Um, I'd really like to know if you've got any more questions you want to ask me, just ask them in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and follow me on my YouTube journey as I set out. Um, I've got lots more videos coming your way. Um, thanks for watching.